I touched on it before the break that my favourite teammate ever was Michael Long because of how selfless he was, but he was also one of the most brilliant footballers the game's ever seen. Quite sad that he only played 190 games due to injuries, but take a look at some of these highlights from the, the magical number 13. Uh, obviously, grand final day, he was a Norm Smith medalist in 1993 and just... If you want to lead to someone, it was Michael Longcane. Can I ask you about that and why, of all the players that you yeah. played with, he was your favourite? Uh, well, when I was yeah, building up to kick my two, uh, 100 goals in the year 2000, Michael was the one that would try and get me the ball because he could see how nervous I was and how I was struggling with it. And he, he actually enjoyed the moment more than I did. So he just enjoyed other people's successes, Michael Long did. And just had eyes in the back of his head and he, he was so unselfish too. You watch Tom Hawkins and these guys, the way they share the ball around. Michael loved sharing the ball and getting other teammates into the game. And funny? Oh, funny as funny as they come and you yeah. never knew whether he was serious. Sometimes it was a serious <laughs> moment and he had a straight face but then he'd deliver <laughs> one of the funniest lines of all time. He actually asked me at five o'clock in the morning in a nightclub, can you do an appearance for me? There's 500 bucks in it for you. Can you be at Cross Keys at 9 o'clock in the morning? So I've stayed up, <laughs> think I'm getting 500 bucks. I turn up to Cross Keys, 9 o'clock, my phone rings at 9.01. Uh, must have got cancelled, sorry. <laughs> and he stitched me up at beauty, so I never trusted Michael again after that. <laughs> uh, one of the highlight reels of all time was Alan Jakovic when he played at Melbourne. So he played the 47 games at Melbourne, but what he did when he was there was extraordinary. He was great. Kicks out of air. He was bums on seats, and you just had to watch him. He was brilliant through this patch in 91. There was no one bigger in that period, Brent, uh, was it? He averaged four goals a game, um, and just some of the things he did. He wasn't a big man either. Like, he was strong, but he was only about 184 centimetres, and he was just, uh, he was theatrical. And it was a, a producer here at Channel 9. Was he? was he? No, he was a stagehand, but he told everyone he was a producer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and big moments happened with number 13 on their back. There's obviously another goal from Jakovic. He's another one I wish he played longer for how good he was. Yeah. But Luke Shuey, who can forget this one at the Adelaide Oval, you know, he wouldn't have probably got this free kick anymore with the way the rules have changed. But they're down by four points in extra time. 17 seconds to go. The siren then eventually goes and he goes back and slots it. Uh, they had some great battles in they came, the West yeah. Coast and Port Adelaide. No, they did, and he's had some clutch moments. Yeah. That's not the only time he's kicked one after the yeah. siren. So, uh, a terrific player on the big stage, Luke Shuey. Bill Hanna was a number 13 uh, in the 1993 Grand Final, Lordo, before your time at the, the Bombers. Um, Kevin Sheedy had chosen Dean Wallace to play ahead of Derek Kickett, and uh, oh. this happened early in the piece, and it was, a, it was an ugly incident. It took uh, Mill out of the uh, action, and uh, you don't know what the match review office would do mm. to that these days, TJ, but in the context of that season and the, the selection around Wallace being in the game, it was, a, it was a massive moment. Yeah, it was. And Anthony Hudson's been part of some huge calling moments. And this was one eight goals down at three-quarter time. The Brisbane Lions were against Geelong. And look at the seconds on the clock. There's 12 seconds. They had to go quick. They're down by one point. Everything had to go right here in this game. Adcock gets his handball out. Lower the eyes by Dane Zorko. And it gets to McGrath. McGrath. So then he goes back, and you can hear Hutto. Look at Chris Scott. He's just shattered with what's going on. Well, let's listen to Hutto. Here's Hutto. S. McGrath comes in. It's on its way. It's there. The miracle of grass. <laughs> the Brisbane Lions There's Vossi. have kicked eight goals in the last quarter. 51 points down they were to go on and wow, win that game. Wow, that is incredible stuff. Another round 13 moment takes us back to 1993. Now, imagine going to the footy and you got Dunstall at one end and Carey at the other end. I mean, whatever you paid for that ticket, you should have paid double. And on this occasion, it was Carey who booted five, Dunstall booted six, and I guess it was the, uh, the sixth goal of Jason Dunstall late in the game that got the Hawks home just. But just uh, two incredible athletes and that day, 11 goals between them. Even just looking at these highlights, you think to yourself, mm. we should have just savoured the moments more when they were actually playing. Yeah, look, that was the year. I mean, Carey broke out in 1992, but that was the year he, he put it completely together. And, and Dunstall was sort of getting toward the, toward the end, not quite at the end, but was still yeah. the main man. Yep. Yeah. Peter Matera, absolute star. Let's go to 1998, TJ, when he started on the bench. Now, starting what? on the bench in 1998 actually meant something. Probably that you're not going that well. Now it doesn't mean anything. But he comes on against Lordo's team and he kicks seven. And he is a goal kick <laughs> midfielder wingman. Looks like he's going forward here. Uh, terrific overhead, but what a skillful player. Lordo, you played in this game. Yeah. I've checked the numbers. <laughs> you had 25 and no goals. Interesting oh, really? numbers from you, yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> 25 what happened there? Kick, kick Jason. <laughs> no sure. goals. Yeah, you get another back in. Yeah. Yeah. 
couple oh, of teams. Just, mate, just <laughs> destroy the bloke on the air, why don't you? Oh, 25, yeah, so should have been a midfielder, TJ. Yeah, I'm going to take you back to 2005. <laughs> and I think this man had the best opposite foot of all time, and that is Jason Ackermanis. He kicked five against the Cats this day. This goal. Uh, and it was <laughs> slippery conditions and just what he was able to do with the football. I mean, he was he had to go to watch him. He was unbelievable. I loved his media conferences when he spoke. I don't think Lee liked it too often when he spoke about other players, about how he was going. But he kicked five this day. Two of the biggest freak goals you'll ever see of all time. But I think... This is moments later. Yeah, I think he's the best non-dominant player in the competition when he was playing Dame up. And have a look at that. That's only moments later, as you said. That is as good as it gets. Kicked five in a grand final and, and wasn't a Norm Smith medalist yeah. for the wing too. Yeah, I'm the, catching up with uh, all Bomber teammates tonight at the Carlton Essendon game. And I'm, I'm a bit nervous about showing these clips because oh, no. it was round 13, uh, 2010, that Buddy Franklin did this to some, some of my Bomber oh. teammates. Oh, oh no. Yeah, right. no. Uh, this is round 13, 2010. <laughs> So Spike Spike's, coach, Spike. Spike's coaching the Allies at the moment, so hopefully he's not seeing that one. Uh, that's, so that's, chase that's, Spike. that's the first goal, and uh, I love Hooksy. But, uh, he, here's, on, the, here's the second one. So uh, this was Buddy, though, in his absolute prime, wasn't he? Just oh. Buddy at his absolute prime. Come on, Hooksy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hooksy on a treadmill there. <laughs> but uh, Buddy Franklin, absolute, fr absolute freakish goal, that one. On a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a mate. <laughs> no, he's a good mate of mine. He'll take it in the right spirit. All right, so you're all off to the football Yeah, we tonight. all are going to the footy tonight to watch it. Vodka cruises? Uh, we are in a corporate box, yeah. Not a couple, <laughs> oh. yeah. All right, <laughs> well, you take it easy, mate. Thank you. You've got a big day on Monday.